Do you have an Etsy shop and want to upgrade and start a website? You can do so with Etsy Pattern. And I'll tell you everything you need to know about that in today's video. Hi everyone, I'm Lydia from IncomingSuccess.com, a platform that is meant to help you start and grow an online business. And in today's video, we're going to talk all about upgrading from an Etsy shop to a website with Etsy Pattern. So if you haven't heard about Pattern for Etsy, it is a program that allows you to create a website in their own directory. So it means that you won't have to be moving all your listings to a new website. They automatically list them for you as they just open the website for you. So let's talk about the cost of Etsy pattern compared to WordPress, for example, starting a website on WordPress. And let's talk about the pros and cons and if I would personally do that for my Etsy shop. We're also going to go through the design process a little bit, showing you how you can design such a website, what are the options available, the themes and all of that. So let's begin with what is Etsy pattern and how do you get it? You get Etsy pattern by just going to your Etsy shop, shop manager and you can see the option in the left side of getting pattern. You can click to start the free trial and go to the website editor. How much is it? Does it offer a free trial? If yes, how long? So the free trial for Etsy pattern is 30 days. So you can try this Etsy website for 30 days without having to pay anything. And after the free trial, it is $15 per month. The $15 fee per month includes only like the hosting of the website. So the domain is not included. You will have to purchase your own domain. They have the option for you to do that from Etsy directly. And the domain registration varies for each domain. So it can be from $12 to $20, $30, $50, depending on the domain you choose. Now let's talk a little bit about the design process. How do you design such a website? Is it hard to optimize? So once you open an Etsy website, you go into pattern, you can go to the dashboard where you have website editor, marketing, blog domains from where you purchase your own domain or you can connect an existing one if you already have a domain that you purchased and to start designing your website i suggest firstly go into website editor pages and create all the pages you will need on your website for example about us contact us and all that after that you can go to the website editor again and go to design to pick your fonts and your colors and you can also pick a theme after you preview it You also have the option of choosing how your brand looks. 
you can choose to show the icon and the name or only the name you can also choose how the shopping cart looks and if you allow reviews to be shown on the website so that's another thing for your etsy shop you cannot allow reviews to not be shown but with your etsy pattern website you have that option for the actual designing of the website you can add a cover image for most themes but as the design aspect goes that's pretty much all you can do so for an etsy website with pattern you don't have the option of optimizing the website more with plugins as you do on wordpress so you only have as much liberty as the theme offers you and there are not very many theme options as I will be telling you in a minute. So after seeing that, let's go to the overall conclusions and let me show you the differences between starting a website with Etsy, in pricing, in design options and all that and starting a website with WordPress. The first pro of Etsy pattern is that you don't have to relist all of your products again on your new website. Um, and write the description and all that, add the prices, add the photos, because if you have thousands of products, um, it will be a lot easier to just start up Etsy pattern website because they will just automatically import all of your products. Now, as a con, you only have limited theme options. You have 10 themes you can choose from, whereas on WordPress, you have thousands of themes you can choose from and they are personalized to your branding to your style to your needs so on wordpress you get a lot more design space you get to unleash your creativity a little bit more because you can design every single thing now another pro for etsy pattern is that you pay that fee of that 15 dollars fee monthly and you can disable it anytime you want with WordPress, you will need to buy a full hosting for a year, maybe a few months or three years, and you won't be able to pay that fee monthly. It will be a pack that you have to pay. But given that, you also have a smaller price. So another con is that it is kind of the same price as you would get on WordPress for multiple websites. So for Etsy pattern, you have 15 plus $3 of domain privacy per month. Um, and that will be $18 per month to have this Etsy pattern website plus the domain that you pay yearly. With WordPress, you would get hosting that will allow you to get that for cheaper. And even if you pay $20 per month, you have unlimited websites you can have with SiteGround, for example, which is what I'm using. If you want to check out SiteGround hosting and learn a bit more about it, check out the resources below. Another con that I have for Etsy pattern is that when you design a website with Etsy um, and you have a website with Etsy, you would still have to promote it outside of Etsy. Um, like if you're paying that fee and doing all that, you will still have to promote that website for people to find your product outside of Etsy as you would do with a normal website. So you still do the work but have the website on Etsy. You also have the shop available on Etsy, but for products that you only list on your website and not on your Etsy shop as well, you will only have the option of them being found by outside people and people won't be able to find those products in the Etsy search results. And I have two other pros for Etsy pattern. And one of them is that all payment methods are already approved by card, Visa, all of those are already approved by Etsy. So people will be able to use all those payment methods to pay on your website. Whereas if you have a website with WordPress, you will have to install plugins for those things. You will have to have those plugins approve you, send them documents on your business and all that. So people can pay with their credit cards on your website. So it is a lot easier with Etsy in this case. And another thing that I think is really cool is that you can keep really good track of your Etsy messages. For example, if you have a contact form in your Etsy website, all those messages will go directly in your Etsy inbox and you'll be able to read them from there. It will be really handy for you to keep track of all your messages. Um, on WordPress, you would have to install a plugin for that, have them email you, and you won't be able to respond to people directly unless again, you install a plugin that is special for that. So there you go guys, this was my video on Etsy pattern and starting a website with Etsy. I hope this kind of gave you enough information to decide if you would start a website with Etsy or not, or if you would want to switch to another platform. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever started a website with Etsy or thought about it. What are your pros and cons that you thought about? Let us know in the comments.
Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every single week on entrepreneurship and growing your online business and press the notifications bell to be notified when I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram for exclusive IGTVs and Instagram reels and I will see you in my next video.